Welcome to the Invincible Extremes Garage. Today, we will be putting together the brakes for my 67 Tempest. I'm gonna do one side because the other side's a mirror image and it's getting late. But uh, I'm putting in a C5 Corvette brake using a 06 GTO caliper, which is the same. And it's a drum hub that I cut down and you'll see all of it. So follow along and hopefully you learn something. Thank you. Here's the Core 3 kit. Uh, they come with, if you tell them what size upper anchor bolt you have, it'll come with that upper anchor bolt and it comes with a little spacer. So this actually is a universal kit. This is a, unlike the <clears throat> classic performance kit, this is a straight C5 kit. It's not a C4, C5 hybrid. The difference being a C5 kit will require you to turn down your hubs. You can see right here, I turn them down. To, uh, I did it with a grinder. I guess it would have been a little nicer had I just gave them to a machine shop and had them do it. But uh, you'll see how it works out. I got another spare set of hubs in case these get ruined for whatever reason. Uh, all the bolts they provide are very nice. They also provide these big ass 5 8 bolts for the Corvette calipers. And they provide all new steering arm bolts. Half inch dash 20 thread, fine pitch, just like the factory. Nice. The bolt is uh, not too long, so it's literally bolt on once you've disassembled your brake hub. <clears throat> they come with a little bushing so you don't have to cut off your anchor bolt if you got a Pontiac you could pull it out and then they come with an aluminum bushing or you could do what I did is I cut it flush so that uh, the bolt isn't taking that much shear force doesn't wiggle and I uh, I put a little metal bushing in the actual bracket they only make one bracket for the two bolts and then they give you the separate bushings whichever size you happen to need Screwed them. Now I'm pulling them out. And that, as you can see. I'll just make sure I need to get these little pieces. And there you go. Four of the developers that read GTO for I don't know if they're really was worth the effort. It's only about 75 bucks cheaper than actual four deck calipers. But because this is a GTO clone, for me it was worth the effort. Alright, there you go. I'm using a little hub centric ring. Um, keep the rotor on slash it takes up the gap from the 70.3 millimeter GM hub to a 73 millimeter BMW hub but anyways um the way the caliper bolt or the caliper bolts on is seven or it's a 5 8 bolt with a 7 8 head so you need a 7 8 box wrench to put this on and this on right here tighten it on and the free floating caliper will be then centered in here C5 Corvette rotor. Now, as I stated earlier, this is not a hybrid kit in the sense that it's a C4 rotor and a C5 caliper. This is a C5, C5, or a C6 base model. 13 inch Corvette rotor, caliper, get up. Again, GTO calipers off an 06 GTO are indeed the same as Corvette C5, C6 calipers. So these are genuine GM. I was able to price it, piece it together for a lot cheaper 
than the following kit right here that I got earlier this year from uh, Classic Performance. This is a hybrid kit. So this kit right here does not require any machining. The C4 rotors have a hat that fits over a stock GM drum hub. So if you use the C4 heavy duty 13 inch rotors, um, they work, they work great. I love these brakes. However, that's an aftermarket caliper. It's not actual GM. It's supposed to be a C5 style caliper. And those are cheap rotors, probably the same cheap rotors that I got on the C5 kit, except they don't interchange. Now, C5, C6 requires you to machine down the hub, as you've seen earlier, but it's done fairly easy, or you could just turn them into machine shop, and they'll do a lot nicer job of it than I did. You'll need longer studs. I use Morosos. Some GM hubs come with uh, a 480 shank. Some GM hubs come with a 580 shank, or a 6, 6 something. So in my case, it turned to be a 6 something. And so I just got Moroso aftermarket studs. I couldn't use the Dorman ones that I normally do. They don't make a size to fit that. So these are some really long studs, which is good. I'll just have to get open-ended uh, lugs to screw on. So it threads on through and keeps going. But you need longer studs for racing anyway. You don't want to race with short studs. All right, let me throw the wheel on so you guys can see. I thought I could manhandle it. Turns out I can't. Anyways, you can see how much longer the studs are, but I guess they don't have to be this long. Just the Morosa ones happen to be the cheapest, best compromise, I guess you could say. Made in America, the quality studs. You can see these, uh, these wheels clear my regular C5 Corvette brakes, no problem. But you can see it's kind of tight there. These are 18 inch wheels. You can probably go with 17s, but definitely not 16s. Well, hope you enjoy this. Again, this is a straight C5 swap. So, in the future, if I wanted to use the six piston monoblock stuff and the bigger rotor, I could. My hub's already turned down, and I already got a uh, steel zinc plated bracket that works with all C6, C5 brake components. For, I got that from Core 3. They're, from all the guys that I've dealt with for different brake components and so on and so on, they're by far the best, most complete, and the most well-informed guys that I've ever talked to or ever had to buy anything from. Um, so I gotta give them props. And no, they didn't give me nothing free, so I'm not just, I'm not, you know, just making stuff up. I bought the kit just like you and you and everybody else would. I'm just saying, for what I spent, which was $115, I got, I got a good deal and everything fit. And they actually ask you which bolts you have. So that's that's very important to me. Customer service. Because I do my own research, but customer service is uh is a big plus, especially with using GM components. And uh overall I'd say the quality of this particular get up is better than the one I got on my bird. Just because I was able to use the real 06 GTO calipers. The rotors, I mean these rotors are cheap, but I can get better rotors anywhere. I'm putting Timken bearings in it later this week. I got Moroso Made in America studs. Whereas the uh, Classic Performance Kit, all of it's imported. All of it is junk. The customer service is horrible. So, it's up to you.